here with Marty Music. Uh, thanks for clicking on the video. You know, I get a lot of questions about uh, the different tones that I'm getting for various videos. You know, one second I'm playing or teaching like a heavy metal thing, and then the next time I'm doing like a you know reggae lesson or a blues lesson, classic rock lesson. So I just want to talk about the main tool I've been using for a while now to get my various guitar tones, and that is this right here, the Boss Katana Mark II. This is the 100 uh, watt version, but it's just a super versatile amp. There's a lot of different ways I use it. And plus needing that versatility for all the videos I'm making, you know, it really comes in handy without having to switch out tons of gear, you know, to switch genres. What you saw in the intro there was I was using the four primary uh, electric guitar channels that are built into the amp. Uh, one is a clean, uh, one is a crunch, one is a lead, and then the other one is called brown, as in the brown sound, but it's a very heavy tone, you know, overdriven tone. I use the Boss Katana uh, in lots of different ways. Uh, one way I use it is just, you know, using a basic uh, clean channel out of the amp, so then I can use um, various effects that I may need. Uh, but then there's other times where I wanna get a specific tone for like a famous song. And what I will use is my laptop to interface with uh, the Boss Katana. And you can access all the different um, Boss uh, stomp box style effects built in uh, to the laptop controlling the amp. So you can get, you know, multitude of effects. And then the other thing that's cool is that you can create your own patches, but also find and download patches uh, that are already made by users. So you can literally access, you know, millions of different song sounds and tone settings. Like I said, the Katana, it's a super versatile amp, but it's got a very basic set of controls. And so the first thing you see here are the different uh, amp types. And I already talked about that. You've got clean, crunch, lead, brown, then you also have, which I didn't mention yet, an acoustic channel. You could plug an acoustic guitar with a pickup right in and uh, you know get a really nice, clean acoustic amp sound. So it's great for that. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna go through and we're gonna pick, you know, we're gonna go through some channels here. I'm thinking an ACDC style sound. So instead of clean, I'm just moving the amp setting to crunch. You'll hear it get nice and crunchy and loud here. I'm gonna use the uh, bridge pickup. Yeah, we love that. And so right across when I'm on that channel, I've chosen that channel, I have all the classic settings here. We've got gain, volume, bass, middle, treble. Um, the next section, which are effects, um, there's a lot of different ways to dial in uh, all the different effects that Boss has, you know, in stomp box pedals. But it's gonna be a lot easier to access those with the actual uh, computer interface. I usually keep these simple when I'm messing with dials and I just look at the reverb and I can just slap the strings to hear a nice little bit of reverb. So the way the knobs are right now is how I have it set. Now when I get a sound that I'm really digging, So let's say I like that as uh, a basic rock rhythm. You know, I'm thinking ACDC, but any kind of classic rock rhythm, I can go over to where it says tone settings. And what I can do is, I already have this preset, but just to show you. So you have channel one, two, three, and four, but if you hold the panel button down till it blinks, that gives you access to five, six, seven, and eight. So there's actually eight presets in the katana that you can access at any time. And those uh, relate to the foot controller that comes with the katana, so you can have presets made. So if I hold down number two here on tone settings for about three seconds and I let go, it flashes. That means now on the control panel, anytime I go to number two, so I just hit number one, which is my clean setting. But it means that anytime I go to number two now, it's going to be uh, a preset saved. It actually, it's so funny, it reminds me of radio presets uh, on your car stereo. You just hold, you know, at least in 
in the olden days, you know, you hold the button down and now that channel, anytime you hit that button, it goes back to that channel. It's the same concept. So channel one on my pedal controller here is nice and clean, but when I hit two, it's the one I have saved. Anytime I hit the other one, it's always pre-saved. I like to set number one at a clean, number two at a rhythm drive, number three is like, you know, heavy lead. And then number four, what is it good for? Hey, hey, heavy metal. Uh, those are the different tones without it getting crazy into the built-in effects. All right, so before we get into one of my favorite aspects of the Katana, which is dialing in tons of killer effects with the computer interface, I wanna talk about two features uh, that I absolutely love about this amp and I really can't live without them. First is the direct recording out. Now, if you look right here, I am miking the amp you know, with a uh, 57 uh, into an audio recorder. That's great. But in the back panel here, there's a USB jack and you can take the proper USB cable out of the amp and right into a digital recorder, your laptop, etc., and record the tones of the amp without having to mic it. So that's a great feature if you're just, you know, starting to get into you know, recording your riffs or recording a jam track that you want to practice over. You don't need the mic and the interface and all that. You've got a USB out that can go direct in to record. The other feature I love is the headphone jack for obvious reasons. Sometimes you don't want to be cranked where you're bugging your neighbors, your parents, the, you know, apartment above you, the apartment below you. You've got a jack in the back for the headphones, but something that's really cool about it is you've got an attenuator, which this is with or without the headphones, you can use it, but I find it works well with the headphones. Under the panel, the tone settings panel, there is a power control, and you can see it says 100 watts, 50 watts, 0.5 watts. Now with a guitar amp, the wattage uh, equals headroom. So in other words, a 100 watt amplifier, you can crank it louder before you get that overdriven breakup. The lower wattage in amp, the less volume you need to crank up to get what's called that breakup, that kind of sweet overdriven sound. So with this option, you can go to the 0.5 watts with headphones on, not blow your eardrums out, but crank the amp to where you get to that sweet overdriven spot without the volume having to be super, super loud. So I love that. All right, so I'm going out of the USB here and going into my laptop and I'm opening the uh, Boss Tone Studio. It's a really awesome interface for the amp. Now, you can actually do any of these controls right on the computer. So for instance, I can switch to that heavy brown sound right here. And back to clean. So it's like literally a portal of effects as well as the amp controls. So like for instance, you've got all your normal controls here, like the amps, the sounds, the equalizer, just like the amplifier, then the effects section, presence. Now right now I have the reverb set there, but you see we've got a uh, delay, effects, mod, booster, and they're all in the off position here. But then if you look down here, you've got booster, mod, effects, and delay. And then below it, in subcategories, different types of effects, just like the different pedals that Boss has. So I could go with the clean channel here and then add effects and then turn them on in this section. So let's just get like, let's get a cool, I don't know, like a cool lead guitar sound. So I'm gonna go up here to lead. And I'm gonna turn the gain up a bit. I'm gonna turn the volume down a little just because it's loud in this room right now. Okay, so now what I wanna do is I wanna add 
under the effects, uh, let's do phaser 90. All right. And then, so that's under effects. So if I go up here and turn effects on, now you hear that phaser, just like that. Now I wanna add some nice delay, which I think will be fun. Right now, I have delay on right there. And if I go to delay under here, right now it's giving me a tape echo, but I can switch that to analog for a different sound. I can go reverse. So you get, you get really cool options, a modulated sound. Let's mix it up. I'm going to turn. So if you see, it's yellow, green, or red, and it corresponds here. So I'm going to go effects to the red. And if you look here, it's a Tiwa. Now I could change that to Ottawa. Pedal Wa, where you can use an expression pedal, but I'm not going to do that. Octave. <laughs> And I'm going to go over to delay. I'm just going to turn delay off. Let's just hear. And you can do that by just turning that down. So now I have an octave part. So all we have right now is the effects, an octave. I'm still on lead. I could go down to crunch just for fun. And I can just play around with that. Now, this is something that's interesting that we can do. If I come up with a, a sound that I'm really digging, like let's just say I need an, a cool octave effect for some solo I'm working on. And I just know I'm gonna be using that. Um, I can hold down one of the tone settings presets. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pick number two. So I'm gonna hold down number two. Who does number two work for anyway? Uh, so number two. So that means now that anytime I hit number two on the foot controller, it's gonna go to that octave setting. Even, even if I don't have my computer hooked up to it anymore. Um, so check it out. I can go to hit number one and that'd be my clean sound. As soon as I want that octave sound that I dug there, I can hit this and I get it. So you'll see me switch it. Here we go. So as you can see, I was starting to kind of get lost for, I was starting to forget that I was even making a video uh, because you have, you know, think of just the line of effects that would be on a pedal board that you have to choose from here. Each of these little subcategories has multiple effects. Boom, effects, boom, effects everywhere. I mean, you can just get completely lost. Uh, I mean, in a good way, get completely lost in making up cool sounds. Um, you know, another thing that's amazing is you have all of this for like 360 bucks, you know, with this amp. The other thing that's, that is truly awesome about a Boss Katana, I wish it existed when I was, you know, younger, is that it's loud. It's loud enough to play with drummers and play in full bands. 
when uh, when I was first learning guitar, to be able to be loud enough to play like in a garage band, you had to spend a lot more money to get a truly loud amp, the little practice amps, these little like Gorilla amps and, and various entry level beginner amps. They were great for like the bedroom, but you would never get the volume that you would need to actually cut through with a full band. So you got that. It's so fun. So not only can you make your own settings, presets, and different tones that you want, let's say it's really overwhelming and you're just starting out, uh, or you're trying to figure out how a famous song sounds a certain way, well, this is amazing about the Katana. You can download patches. So in other words, someone else out there somewhere has gone through all this and come up with the perfect tone for a certain song and they've made that patch available. So if I open up, you know, basically you can just import these patches and you can also create your own and export them. So there's websites where they're just user generated patches that you can download for free. And then also as I've started working uh, with Boss and the Katana, I've been starting to make my own patches available for the lessons I'm doing as well. I mean, that is just the coolest thing. So watch, I open up the librarian here and you can see all these different scenes, I guess you could call them. Um, Foxy Women, ICT. I click on that and what do I get? Bun. Maybe you can figure out what that is. Uh... Getting the picture there? How about uh, fuzz lights? Bright lights. She love you. Those were made by other people and then I downloaded them. Uh, some were made actually by my friends at Boss as well. Uh, but you can save a whole catalog um, of patches from other people or you can make your own and save them. It's amazing. So even though you have all those stomp box effects from Boss built into the Katana here and the different amp types, there's a whole nother way that I like using it and that's just as a straight clean amp with my own real pedals. The Katana, what's so amazing is it's got the built-in effects, but it takes pedals really well. So what I do for that is I set it to the clean channel. I come, I dial in a, the clean channel of my taste. And then I use my own pedals. Like for instance, I've got my own, you know, signature Schwarzenegger overdrive. I can click it on without accessing any of the katana effects, my own pedal. So you could set up your pedal board, keep this as a clean amp, 
and use whatever pedals you like, which is a whole nother side of what I, what I do, um, especially when I'm using a looper. Because when you have a looper pedal, um, whatever you're using in, inside the amp is gonna change with your loop. So there's gonna be certain times where I wanna use my looper and then a set of pedals that are before the looper. So that's a whole nother way to use it as well. And I use that and I love that too. All right, that was a lot to cover and I think it was only the tip of the iceberg. Anyway, love the Boss Katana. I can't recommend it enough. Like I said, I wish this thing existed when I was first playing. Um, so I'm jealous of you guys out there who get to use it now. Um, I can't recommend it enough for a beginner player or even an intermediate player for the amount of versatility you get for the price. You've got all the boss effects, you've got great cleans and searing leads. Also, you've got the patches that you can access if you don't know anything about effects. It's a great way to learn. Now, if you're looking for even uh, a, you know, a cheaper way to start off with a guitar amp, they make the 50 watt version, which is more than that uh, $200 plus change. Well, you're getting half the wattage there, but you can't go wrong. I can't recommend it enough for uh, beginners and intermediate because of all the versatility. You have access to all those boss stomp box effects, as well as uh, the various amp simulations. Uh, you know, you can get almost any sound out of it uh, for a great, great price. So, hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, check it out, and thanks for supporting Marty Music. Also, shout out to Boss uh, for making a great amp, and hope to see you guys again real soon. Take care.